Hi everyone, I'm Arier, and today we're going to be looking at more of Moonshine Animation. Specifically, these are going to be from Potato, who I may or may not have been looking forward to getting more of her videos because, honestly, I just find everything about Potato absolutely hilarious. She's a tiny, cute little lolly girl that's like, oh, this is adorable. Ah, that is a very large gun. Who speaks in a Slav accent? Apparently it's Slav, not Russian. I've been corrected about that. Yeah, <laughs> shows what I know about accents. Today we're going to be looking at Figma Predator Space Slav. Okay, I, for some reason I want to go like, like Slav, like Coleslaw. I don't know why my mind goes, but that's where I'm going. I don't know why. I know it's wrong, but my mind's weird. And then this one, I really don't get the Kazu, or the Figma Kazuma, the Kazubliat. Yeah. I just kind of look forward to saying that word since I saw what the video was this entire time. I was just looking forward to that. And it was worth it! <laughs> I am easily amused. And Potato's accent and just getting to say certain words because they're in the title is literally something I look forward to. Uh, this one, though, unlike Alouette, who, for some reason, I still don't know who her voice actor is, and it bugs me! I do know that Potato is played by Izanami VA. This one I do know! Because I saw a later video where she was credited for it already, so it, it counts. It still counts. Also, if you want to know who plays Alouette, let me know because it's bugging me. It's still bugging me. It's been a while and it's still bugging me. So we're just going to jump right in and see where this goes. It's... Okay, it's Potato. It's Moonshine Animations. I'm assuming it's going to go bad and bloody. <laughs> and I don't know. I mean, the first time I saw a video of Moonshine, let alone with Potato, it was literally decapitating Pinkie Pie. I'm not going to think too hard about this. Yeah. So if you haven't already, there's a link to the videos down below. Make sure to hit them up because if nothing else, Moonshine Animations definitely proves, holy shit, you can do a lot with stop motion still. And God knows that's just the toy reviews he's doing. I'm really looking forward to the actual full-on animations. Also, if you haven't already, link below, original video. You already hit it up because you're not one of the 75% of the people who watch this video but don't subscribe, but you're part of the 25 makes percent who are just completely amazing and did actually press the subscribe button already. Thanks, I'm not sure why you're pressing it again, but thank you for doing that. Uh, this is actually being recorded on New Year's Eve, so I'm really... Let's go with hyped is a YouTube appropriate word right now. Yeah, I don't know why I decided, hey, it's nearly midnight. I'm going to record a video doing that. Happy not 2020 anymore, everyone. Yeah. Which is weird because, honestly, since I'm recording this now, I probably should put it up tomorrow. Eh, whatever. I'll think about that in the morning when it's too late. Let's get started. Many of us can comment section. Where is Potato Priat? Give what? us the Potato Suka. Welcome, lads. You have the asked. And I have the listened. It is I, the Potato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Potato in a black hoodie, black skirt. It's adorable. She's talking like she's Palpatine. And I find this adorable. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's asking about potato potatoes here. More importantly, did anyone else notice that her hoodie had bunny ears? Just, that's... Moonshine, as far as I know, makes all of these things himself. So he made a point to add bunny ears to Potato's hoodie. That's kind of adorable. Really hypes up the entire... Aw, she's an adorable murder lolly. Aw. Here to do figure review. <laughs> oh, yeah. What is this? <laughs> He's spaceman. Or maybe this resident near Chernobyl Tractor Factory. Oh. He's same thing. Did she just say he got run over by a tractor factory? Oh, God. He wear... Uh, it look like... Turtle shell? Maybe him use turtle to make soup and dress up in... Oh, yeah, I can see the turtle effect, yeah. Oh, Debbie, you. Or kind of made with fish from river, not turtle. His skin, very yellow. Yeah. Looking very pustulary. Maybe he has the cancer. Too much time spent in zone. <laughs> His hair look like... I can't tell if this is a really good model or a really bad one. Because like just when you saw the stomach, it's like, oh, when he's standing up straight, it doesn't match up with the rest of the model details anymore. So he has to crunch over. <laughs> yeah, weird detail. It's it's like super high end, low detail detail. But I I can't tell if I love it or hate it. Not very detail like movement wise model from what I've seen so far, but really cool figure in general. Mm, we 
leeches from Chernobyl. I have no idea. Oh, did she just say leeches from Chernobyl? Drink too much vodka and say no to the sleep like true sleep. Just keep drinking. Potato just noticed he is wearing turtle piece over wiener. Potato will check behind <laughs> for the science. Oh god damn it, that Oh, he was wearing turtle piece on the wiener. Potato will check. <laughs> Okay, out of all the things I expected, pervy potato was not one of them. That was not on my list of things to end out 2020. Okay, yeah. I hope there's bloopers of Izanami saying that line, just because that is so much black man material, and I love it. It's just metal underwear. You who are watching, you maybe think, Oh, I create potato! Do not disrespect Slavic spaceman! He will kill you! <laughs> Have no fear, Suka. Potato is protected by most powerful babushka of Serafina. What? Oh! I have no idea what this says. Guess she's not no voice. problem. Try me, Suka. Really, I will destroy you. That is a big gun. Oh my god. So. This is probably one of the few times they've actually made the characters act in character. Not so much... How to put this? Not to the same extent as the Space Marine video, which came later. It was also freaking amazing. But closer to the John Wick where he was just not moving while he was in the chair. Not voice, not really acting much, but just kind of dealing with it and just generally low level being personified. This one isn't really being personified. But they're acting as if he is by having... I've heard her name is Resnia. I could be butchering that. On the side with the absolutely massive gun as protection. Oh, that, that is actually hilarious how she has a chaperone with this guy. <laughs> I'll be completely fair, though. I think he probably needs the chaperone from her. I mean, uh, she is the one who wanted to go poke around at his junk. God damn it, Potato. <laughs> Moving head because mm. of head leeches. But they seem he able oh. to move them. Which help, but not so much. Are they tentacles? Potato, potato, but just get haircut. Yeah. His arm move okay. Him body move very well. Him have the eight pack abs. You can tell many things from man's tummy. One look at space love tummy tell me not enough vodka. <laughs> not the vodka. Conduct true test. Oh. Can he squat like slob? Squat, Zuka! Show oh. Me your powers. <laughs> mm, he's okay. <laughs> okay, so I knew about her doing the entire squat for uh, dominance. I, I knew about that bit from the Space Marine aspect. I didn't realize that's a bit with her that she wants to make them squat. You got to squat. Oh, God. I just realized I did the entire... I'm just going to say I'm glad that my hands were outside of the screen because, uh... Oh, if you know the meme about squatting down while looking at the camera... Uh, God, I, I'm, I'm just going to not even say anything about it. If I'm lucky, I'll remember to cut this out, just not embarrass myself. But knowing me, future me's a dick, so that probably won't happen. But still, I like how apparently her... Saying squat to see if you're dominant. Or the equivalent of that is actually a running bit with her. It's so stupid, yet actually completely gets across the fact that if a model can actually make the position of squatting, that's a sign of really good quality. This one is on the fence, but it can do it just not well. So yeah, it's good enough. It's kind of cool how they even just picked that up by watching these reviews. <laughs> are those cat ears? Yeah, they are. That's weird. And a little kitty. Hey. So, uh, you may have noticed Space Slab, him missing something. Oh, yeah. His, uh, face gun or something. Potato, uh, uh, lost it. Damn what? it, Potato. Ilya, I had to carry the so much stuff. It was an accident. You cannot just lose the Predator's shoulder cannon. <laughs> Do not worry, viewers. Really only mad because she wanted space gun. Don't. Okay, one. Apparently, yeah, she is voiced. Two. The voice sounds very familiar. I can't place it. Gah. Two. 
I love how they're covering over the fact that Moonshine lost the piece. Maybe. I have a finish with it. But Tina's like, oh, I lost it because of this movie. It was heavy. And then, of course, just to justify her being in there. Uh, I like this. I really want to see more of their interaction. She definitely seems like she's the, I wasn't going to say mother figure, more like the overworked babysitter who's stuck with an over-hyper, hyper-caffeinated child. And if you haven't had to deal with little kids before, you realize the double usage of the word hyper is completely accurate and unfortunately very true. Also, she has more guns. So, literally about as dangerous as a normal five-year-old. I know what I said. Don't make me laugh. Do not worry, Space <laughs> I give you something better than Space Club. Oh? Wow, it's called Kalashnikov. It's what we oh my god. It's also a stolen weapon. What? Oh, Верни мне мою пушку, мелкая засранка. What? Well, you can help Space Love with your own goddamn bullets. Эх, эти мелкие тупые девочки. What? This is literally the most characters I've seen in a potato, or not just a potato, but a moonshine toy review yet. I love this. We got Neresnia, Potato, the Space Love. I love how she's just dubbed the Predator a space slav. That, that just amuses me so much. And that guy who... I don't know who the hell he is. I'm assuming he's from Shrapnel? Or a side of Shrapnel? Or the Shrapnel universe? So I mean, for all I know, he could actually be a model. I just don't know who he is. But it kind of looks like someone who has that very... Put together face, cloth, clothing. Looks like something Moonshine might make. So I'm assuming it's something he made himself. And I know if I watch the actual original animations, which I do want to do still. I'm going to work out to it. I just want to watch all these because they're funny. Anyway, him come with spear. Comes with that's a spear. Extend him. Oh, okay, that's a thing. A knife is on the oh. Extend him light parts to the right arm. Ooh. I would lose all of that. I would definitely lose all of this. What if they don't hurt face? Ah! Oh. A lot of options on this. Is she holding his new hand? Oh. Oh. <laughs> he is next to Mecha Snake people. Mecha Snake people. Okay, first, I'm kind of surprised how small this model is. It's it's definitely because Potato's here and she's Potato. I mean, against anyone else, he might actually look smaller by comparison, but just compared to her, he looked so tall. And then you see the other versions of the Predator model and it's significantly lower to the ground. Also, very different art. Like, the other ones were more dark and grungy. This one is way brighter by comparison. Significantly more color. Huh. I have nothing special to say. Goodbye, space love. What? I am sorry. I love space gun. But there's no use to spilling the milk crying. No use crying over spilled milk. Oh. Uh, I thought I just misheard it. No. She just butchered the phrase. I hope you have enjoyed the Review of space Hello. And next up we have Cosmo Bliat. Yes. I don't actually need to reintroduce the video. I just wanted to say that word and I'm completely okay with having done that. Also, cat ears. It's legitimately cute on her. Normally I say like little cat ear inserts. It's like, oh, that looks stupid on her because the fur coming out of the little uh, metal ear holes is actually the same color as her hair. It actually looks kind of adorable. God, P Potato's so freaking cute and funny and murdery. It's that last part that makes you want to run away screaming. But it's still fun. <laughs> also, some of the bloopers. Um, <laughs> Oh, my. Yeah, definitely not going to leave those in. <laughs> YouTube might not approve. Today we are reviewing the Kazuma from Ka that Kazuma? no Super Roshi Sekai. Thanks for least too long. From Fox, can tell. He is crazy man. <laughs> he might face a man who spent too long in potato part. 
I love how she's just looking at the face, not even bringing him out. And the first she says, this is the face of man who spent too long a potato. I, I think he's, she said potato patch or was it potato wine? I actually want to rehear that. Just because I, it kind of, what did she say exactly? Potato bun. One king. Okay, I just can't hear the exact word. It just seemed to drop out the word. But low too long a potato. I'm just going to say wine because it amuses me more. Never know. Pride man. This would be vodka. Looks pretty simple. Okay, but they don't see nothing amazing. Yeah. But they don't expect more from man from Joel with such a pretty. <laughs> I'm sorry, it just hit me that the very first thing she said about him is, I see nothing amazing. I was like, that's not really fair. Oh, wait, Kazuma. No, that is legitimately probably the most accurate representation of him in a figurine then. Nothing amazing. Oh, I mean, I know it's in a model level. This is not a great model. But I love how not that great or not that amazing is a perfect review of his entire character. And then you have it perfectly captured in a stupid model. Oh, it's not even the joke. It's just it's funny because it's accurate. Here's the, hmm. the faces work well. The face. Are those panties? The looks of oh. Generic main Basic man, yes. But he moved the well. No. Very well. Like champion bear wrestler at Saturday night in Vodka Bar. Strong. Flexible. What? Agile. I have no idea what that word phrase is. And, and, he's caught. Oh. He has the respect of the potato. <laughs> oh my gosh. She even just... Add, add, add. You could tell she was getting hyped as she did it, which was actually really cool for Izanami to add that little extra escalating level of just... Ee, which generally is how potato sounds, in my opinion. Just my opinion, of course. And then he just squats down lower than any model I've seen reviewed yet. It's weird because no one else has ever used the squat method. Yes, I am now saying the word squat like that because of these videos. It's a problem. I've done it at work. It's kind of creeping people out. I need to stop. I haven't been able to yet. Send help. <laughs> God. But I'm not sure what this. Look like birth <gasps> pastry from Piroshki Piroshki. Also not sure what this. Look like amoeba from Metro. Potato knows what this. He's a Japanese too. I don't know which one of those to be more, um... Yeah, I, I'm just gonna stay with the first one. The third one, the sword... Oh, it's a Japanese toothpick! <laughs> I love how blatantly wrong she is. <laughs> just assuming she actually knows, and it's just so wrong. Technically, you could pick your teeth with it. I would highly advise against it. 9 out of 10 doctors say cutting your head off because you're trying to pick your teeth with a sword is a bad idea. The 10th one tried it and is why the other 9 don't think that. More importantly, while I don't know what the second one was, and I'm certain it has never been remodeled into other things that are not in any way, shape, or form off-brand or not allowed on YouTube. You know it. That first one, I'm, I'm pretty sure those were... <laughs> I'm pretty sure she was just holding a pair of panties. It's like, I do not know what these are. <laughs> I just realized, having said that, that there's literally nothing I can say here that is age appropriate. To any age. Oh, God. Yep, don't, don't mind Potato just waving around her panties. Thumbnail. <laughs> Oh, God. He come with cake. Don't seem very good. Clunky and stiff. Potato has better option. Hoopa! Oh! His tactical Adidas! Does not come with that good Adidas. Fiber. Comfortable. It looks Quite pretty good, actually. And bulletproof. I show you. <laughs> Oi, Soka! I say it's bulletproof. He come with five pairs of hands. And special... She just thought of... I was expecting a lot of things. 
It's like, oh, it's bulletproof. It's just some kind of joke. No, she took the gun and threw her back. He's on the ground. And if they had given him a voice actor right now, it would have been perfect. Because we could have just gone, ah, God, why did you shoot me? I can't impersonate Cosmo to save my life, let alone anyone else. So that is literally as close to a Cosmo impression as I'm going to get. And was it horrible? Yes. Yes, it was. But I love that. That's just that little bit right there. It shows so much of an evolution in these just reviews. Because I saw what a really recent one with the Space Marine review was, and it was so freaking well done. The characterization, the interaction, there was a skit involved in the entire process itself, and it was beautiful. And then there's this one where it's like all these little bits building up. And this one between Resnia being the chaperone in the previous video with Potato... And this Cosmo putting on the homemade version of his tracksuit, which doesn't come with the model. Sure. They all just steal it from him. And she shoots him. And then they just hype up how much power the gun has by throwing Potato to the ground. Him down. And he has the little, whatever that Cosmo face is. Literally the perfect Cosmo face, in my opinion. Going, ah! Yes, I'm just going to do the voice. I can't do the voice. I just love that because it shows so much characterization of a silent character. Oh, I wish they had given him a voice actor just to have them play off Potato. It would be so freaking good. Two hands with peg. Amiibo from Metro go here. Oh, yep. It was an explosion. Come with three faces. Four if you buy from Shop of Good Smiling. Basic oh. face. Oh, it blew up. Face. Yep. Oh, it blew up. Face number two. And creepy smile face. <laughs> creepy smile face. Here he is with Oh, he's tall, surprisingly he tall. And here he is with comrades from same show. Yeah, that actually makes sense. Potato likes this man. He is crazy, and crazy can be fun. Potato gives him ten potatoes out of ten potatoes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> out of ten potatoes. Hello. Thank you for watching the video. And that was Potato reviewing Kazabliat and the Space Slov. I, I'm actually still just laughing off the names in general and the fact that she actually approved of the cause of the figure. Honestly, I was kind of expecting her not to because it was... It seemed very simplistic, very straightforward. I mean, there was nothing wrong with it. Very much just generic. But that's also freaking Cosima. It's just okay, which is perfect for Cosima. I know I went off on that already. I completely stand by that. Even after the review and she did everything about it, yeah, just normal and good and kind of just, eh, okay, that's a thing, that's good, is perfect for Cosmo. I just love how that perfectly matches the character. It doesn't actually matter the figure itself. It's nothing to do about their detail. It's more just, okay, not amazing. Is I, I just love it for his characterization. In the actual canon Cosmo as opposed to the model, it just, it fits. It, it just fits so well. I love it more because of that. Which I think might have carried over to Potato because she seemed really generous, honestly. Like, if this was Cecilia's review, she's usually a little harsher. Alouette was like, oh, I love the cutesy stings. Eee. I can't imitate her voice. I really can't imitate Alouette's voice. I don't, I don't even know how to achieve some of those sounds. Yeah. So out of the three, I think Potato is not the kindest. That, I think, is Alouette, because she's going more for, oh, this is fun. I cannot do her voice. And Cecilia definitely seemed the most critical about the details, or at least been putting her work on models that had so many flaws. And so far, Potato, while I've seen the Space Marine one, so I know she can be critical, she seems very... Almost like her reviews are just... These are good pieces. They're just good. So I'm going to spice them up by having a really fun character go to town on actual bits with them. And honestly, as far as that goes, the overall review itself of the model seemed to be, this is good. I like it. It's not great. Not amazing. Nothing crazy. Nothing horrible. It's just good. But they're spicing up so much. And by they, I specifically mean both Moonshine, because just the stop motion on this is insane, and the voice actress, um, Izanami VA, who just went to town and they both did a great job setting this up and it was just fun. And I have no idea who's voicing Resnia. And if I'm even saying her name right, it's me. I'm probably butchering it horribly and getting it completely wrong. Like normal. Yeah. But there were so many little bits between all of them, including when she freaking shot Kazuma. 
I went off on a tangent on that. And I stand by that because it's still really well done. Because it came out of nowhere, I was not expecting it, and that makes it so much more memorable because of that. It just happened, and it was smooth, it was well done. The fact that they emphasized how powerful the gun was just by having her thrown off screen, it works so well. Potato definitely seems to be the person, or at least the character, who's given the medium-level reviews that aren't so crazy Cecilia can tear it apart, or aren't so cutesy that Alouette can just goo over it. There, she definitely seems like the character who's given reviews, at least based on what I've seen so far, that are okay, because she is funny, and she can hold the entire video all on her own. But when she's playing off people, it's even better. Just a few pieces with Cosmo, just a few pieces with Resnia were funny. And honestly, I'd probably watch the video just for those moments, and I stand by that. There's a lot of things I stand by in this video. Oh, weird. Oh, okay, with that, yeah. So if you haven't already, there's a link below to the original videos. Make sure to hit them up, because it's Moonshine Animations. You guys know who it is by now. He's really damn good at what he does. And he's been pulling in really great voice actors to do exactly what they need to to make these videos really pop. So if you haven't, hit him up. He's awesome. And if you can, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe here too, because if you don't, I will steal this line from Philip DeFranco, throw punch you. Really poorly, because I'm incredibly weak and cowardly, but we'll ignore that part. Oh god, seriously, if this video actually shows more people subscribing to this after that, I will actually feel bad. And maybe a little disappointed. Mostly myself, but not entirely. All the same, everyone. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.